Hey guys, so before you see the Mobius HD, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the menu operation. Uh, there are two buttons as you can see. There are two buttons and a micro USB joint, a nice little label. Uh, quick connect it does pull apart. Um, the first button is your on off button when pressing and holding. Uh, when in operation, it is your color mode and auto mode button. Uh, this is your animation button when in operation as well as uh, speed button. So I'm going to show you what that means and how you get to all those functions using these two buttons. Uh, first off, we want to turn it on. Uh, when you push the button, you'll see that this blue button reacts. Uh, this blue light reacts. So what you want to do is you want to push and hold and then boom the hoop turns on. So if I continue to push that first button, it will cycle through the color palettes. And this is just pushing. You'll notice this area right here lights up to blue when I just momentarily push it. Now that's nice, but it only sequentially cycles through all 46 color modes. If you want to get a better feel for where you're at in the color palette list, then what you do is you push and hold that button, and it will turn white. When it turns white, you let go of it. Now you'll see in this section here, there is a color palette. Red, blue, white, blue, yellow, blue, green. Each with their own spacing. That is a color palette. Now by pushing the first button and the second button, you can cycle forward through the list, and backwards through the list. Um, by pushing and holding the second button, the animation button, you will cycle backwards 16 palettes. So you can quickly jump through the list. Now cycling through the palettes, we'll get to the beginning of the list. The beginning of the list starts with 16 solid colors. First being red, orange, yellow, green, and so forth. And a few custom colors kind of pastel looking. Uh, then into our first multicolor palette. Uh, this is a red and orange, it's kind of hard to see on the on the video. Uh, orange and blue, green, white and yellow with a 1-1-1 one, one, one spacing. Green, white, green, white with a 6-5-6-5 six, five, six, five spacing. A 1-2 spacing with those. So there's different spacing patterns, different colors you can use, um, and I'll get into the software in a little bit and show you how you can set up these different palettes. Um, looking at this one, you see a large section of pink and then a blue, yellow, orange. Just uh, one, one, and one. So that's the palette that I'm going to select right now, and what it's going to do is it's going to use this palette and repeat it around the hoop and then apply the filter for the current mode that it's on. So I'm going to push and hold the color palette button, and that will exit the menu, and it will go back into operation, in which it has the pink, blue, yellow, orange pattern repeated three times, and this particular filter spins. I will get to the filters in a second, uh, show you how those work using the animation patterns and the color palettes to mix. Um, now that we're in operation, again, we can cycle through the color palettes one at a time, to cycle through all those palettes that we just went through. Now, as you see, all the lights in the hoop are currently on. There are different animation patterns that we can apply to this color palette. And now I'm going to push the animation button momentarily to cycle through the animation patterns. So that's the second button. So now you see it's every other LED lit up. The color pattern, or the color palette, is still spinning. Um, the animation pattern is stationary though. The every other LED pattern is not spinning, just the colors are spinning. So doing it again, we've got a 2x2 two two pattern. And again, you see that the 2x2 two two pattern is not spinning, but the colors are spinning. So there's a lot of different patterns that are available. There's 16 that are applied to this particular mode filter. And again, once we get into the software, that 
will be explained a little bit better. So you think, okay, well that's, that's great. The pattern's stationary, the colors are moving. What else can it do? So now I've just entered the animation menu. The animation menu has 10 groups represented by 10 different colors. Each group has 16 different locations. These 16 different locations represent different patterns within this group. Quick rundown, getting back to red. The red filter does a solid on solid. It takes the solid color palette and applies a solid pattern. And then it just leaves it solid. No motion of either set. The orange filter circles the color palette but leaves the animation pattern solid and stationary. So now going to the yellow filter. Now you see it's running a little fast. Let me turn down the speed with the animation button. I hold it until it overlays the green. I'll slow it down a little bit for camera purposes. Now you see the color palette itself is stationary. This is always blue, this is always green, this is always cayenne, etc, etc. But the animation pattern is moving. So back into our animation menu. Going to the green filter. Push and hold to select it. Now you see that everything is moving together. This is always green and it's cycling with the animation pattern. The palette and the pattern stick together and the whole thing rotates. And again, this can be done at six different speeds. This is the fastest speed right here. A little hard for the camera to pick up. And this is the slowest speed right here. Those speed settings are also settable in software, which we will get to. So on to the next filter, the turquoise filter. This is a strobe through filter, which means it takes the animation pattern, puts it down solid, and it strobes each color of the palette through the pattern. It's at its slowest speed still. Speed carries over from mode to mode. Now we're at the fastest speed. It's a bit tough to see it at that speed on a camera. So again, at any time through any of these filters, we can change the color palette that's being applied to it. And again, we can enter the color palette menu at any time to cycle through our list directly. So I am a big fan of the rainbow patterns, so we'll, we'll go with that one. So, into the animation menu again. We're still on the turquoise filter. Now, within the animation menu, you'll notice one yellow light in the center. Uh, by pushing the color palette button, we are able to cycle where that LED is. And that's our marker LED. That tells us what pattern it's going to use in this filter set. So once we have selected it, we then again hold the animation button and it goes back into operation. So moving on, the cayenne filter is currently set for the POV images. Now this one, uh, you're not going to really be able to see sitting on the table, but if I slowed down the POV image output to its slowest speed, you can actually see some a little bit slower animation. This in high speed will give you some of the uh, POV image animations that you will see later on in this video or in other videos. So again, I can select which POV image is being output by pushing the animation button and it will cycle through them. Or I can push and hold it into the menu and use the color button to cycle through and pick which image I'm on. Push and hold the animation button and it returns. So 
So again, when you're using the POV images, uh, it's best to use one of the higher speed settings. So I'm going to put it on the fastest speed. And this right here, let's... I think we're a little too close to tell, but uh, yeah, like I said, we'll sh I'll show some, some more videos here in a little bit of the POV in motion. Uh, currently, I only have up to the cayenne filled. Uh, there is the blue filter, the purple filter, the pink filter, and the hot pink filter. Uh, those will be uh, spots for additional packages, additional mode sets, additional patterns, uh, additional filters. Uh, these are where, where they'll be able to be assigned. So currently red through cayenne are filled. Um, purple to hot pink still uh, have room for more animation patterns, more effects, more fading filters. Uh, the, the next one is going to be a, a fade uh, algorithm that uses the animation pattern with a particular fade routine of the color palettes. Uh, get more into future packages in a little bit. but uh, um, Back into our operation, this would be our red filter. And our first mode on the red filter, uh, no motion on either the animation palette or the pattern. So that's all fun and great. You can run each individual pattern by itself uh, at any speed, and you can have fun with it. Now, let's say you want to get a bit more animated. We um, say put on a show, perhaps. So I've created the auto mode lists. Now for the color palette lists and the animations lists, there are six auto mode groups for each. To enter into the auto mode menu, you push and hold the color button until it turns orange. When it turns orange, you let go of it. You'll see a blue section representing the color auto modes, and you'll see a green section representing the six animation auto modes. Now to select the auto mode, you push either the color button respectively, or the animation button, respectively. First group is cycle through everything, all the color mode, or all the animation modes, one at a time, through the entire list. Uh, and that is the same for the color auto modes, cycle through all the color modes, one at a time, through the entire list. Now the next group on each of these uh, holds up to eight patterns, or eight modes, that will cycle uh, sequentially. Uh, same for the third group, as well as, and then the fourth and fifth groups have up to 16 modes that you can automatically cycle through, and then the last group on each one will cycle up to 35 modes for each auto cycle. So this allows you to put together a fairly elaborate uh, auto program that will automatically cycle through modes that you specify in the software, which I will again will get to in just a second. Um, if I select the all for both of them, this guy, all I have to do is push the color button again to cycle. Now we're on the red filter on the first mode, so now it's going to start at that location. It's going to sequentially cycle through all modes, colors, and patterns one at a time. So we're going through all of the solid patterns on this one. Once it gets through the 16 patterns being applied to the red filter, then it will move on to the orange filter, in which we will start seeing some motion happen. This is the orange filter, however, with the solid colors, rotation doesn't really come out. So once we get past the solid colors, this is why I made the 35 mode cycles. Uh, cycling some of the animated patterns with the solid colors uh, doesn't exactly yield a whole lot of flair. So right now, when all the colors should be spinning, having only one color sort of 
limits its ability. Cycle out of the colors. Now because I just went into the color menu, it stopped the color animation or the auto mode. So I'm going to turn it back on. Now you see that the orange filter was rotating. It's fast rotation of green and orange, or green and yellow to white. Now when in auto modes, you are able to uh, adjust the speed setting. So I'm going to go in and turn it down to a, a little bit more camera friendly speed and uh, it will go right back into its auto mode progression so changing the speed does not stop anything I will continue to do this for quite a while the speed at which it does this is also programmable. That's uh, an available option in the software, which I will get to in just one second. Alright, I'm going to set up and I will show you some of the software.